Chinda spoke with suicide survivors and explored the way out of depression and suicide in Nigeria. Here's her report. Close to 800,000 persons die by suicide every year. Now, that's according to statistics from the World Health Organization. More statistics reveal that every 40 seconds, at least one person is likely to die by suicide. It is no longer news that Nigeria now ranks fifth amongst countries suicide prone. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds globally. According to more research, depression is one of the leading causes of suicide world over. Depression itself is a clinical diagnosis. You cannot just say I'm depressed because you're broke or someone jittered you or something didn't go in the way you plan it. Stop labeling yourself. However, if depression, that is, sorry, sadness or low mood, you are experiencing this on a near daily experience for at least two weeks, coupled with this second sign that I'm about to mention, loss of interest. As the world marks the International Day for Suicide Prevention, Fumi Unajafe, a suicide survivor, explains how depression could have led her to suicide. Um, I was under a lot of pressure. Um, then it was marital pressure. I was just under a lot of pressure from, you know, family, from in-laws, from my ex-husband at the time. Just, you know, hearing so much, you know, it was almost like the pressure of the marriage was on me. Like, oh, I wasn't doing enough. I wasn't doing well. I just felt very, and I, not only was I feeling like I wasn't doing well, I felt like I couldn't do anything to change you know, the situation or to turn things around or to just, you know, so I just had this heavy burden, you know, upon me and that's when I just started feeling depressed. Of course, at the time, I don't think I knew that I was depressed. I didn't know I was depressed until the time I tried to take my life. I was just very, very, um, you know, I was just very sad. What remedies are there for depression and suicidal thoughts? So I said, let's say we have a mental crisis in our society today because of the high rate of depression and suicide. Uh, like you've rightly mentioned, uh, there are a lot of cases of suicide in our society. We can no longer shy away from it. And uh, religious bodies have a lot of role to play. Uh, we are not relegating their responsibility or their role or their usefulness, but we're saying they should do informed religious help. Uh, while they're praying, while they're helping them support, why not try to have counseling centers? Why not try to have counseling centers? It doesn't cost much. So that it is served as a mental force aid. The same way we have physical force aid, someone collapses, you do CPR, you do the normal thing you're meant to do. The same way we can have psychological or mental health force aid. And churches and mosques can spare this. According to experts, with more awareness and a lot of effort, depression and suicide can be overcome. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.